Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Monday in Kwa Market. I bring you news updates. Avoid Abiola's case. Release Namde Kano. Nigeria is already fragile. Ibo veterans in US dials Tenebo. Now American veterans of Ibo descent in Jacksonville. That's Florida in the United States of America have raised their concern about the safety of the leader of the IPOB, Martin Amdekano, who has been detained illegally, unjustly, by the federal government of Nigeria for two years and more. Yes. Now, they are saying that Tinubu should release Martin Amdekano to avoid the fate of Abiola befalling him. Yes, that's what the group said. Yes, one of the members of the group, Dr. Emma Kofo, said they have written to Bola Tenebo earlier, yes, concerning Mazinam Nakano's safety and his release. Of course, he said, the letter that was signed by the president of their group, Chief Dr. Silverstone, and the secretary, Dr. Gerson Obiawo, said, stated that that Tinubu's government should be such that protects lives, especially that of innocent man like Mazin Namdekano. The, state, the statement goes further to say that the government should be such that restores the rule of law that has been marred by the fragrantly disobeying of court orders by the previous administration of Muhammad Mbuhari Mbuhari. They urged Tinubu not to allow anything to happen to Mazinam the Khan under his watch. They said Tinubu should ensure that mindless people do not collapse the already fragile union by the continued detention of Mazinam the Khan, who has been declared, who has been freed from the criminal charges the federal government of Nigeria preferred against him. Of course, by court of competent jurisdiction, the appellate court in Abuja. The group said, look, that they have advised Tinibu not to allow what happened to M. Abiola to happen to him. Yes, he said, when the issue of Abiola was, you know, happening in Nigeria, said some eminent personalities, highly placed individuals, advised M. Abiola about the fate that was about to befall him. So, but the man refused to listen to the advice. Yes. I said, now, Tinubu is in charge. He should release Mazin Namdekano now to avoid what happened to Abiola to repeat again in Nigeria. That's what the group is saying. And so, what are we not talking about? The group, they are saying, about the safety of Mazin Amdekano in detention. The safety. They have all been able to release Mazin Amdekano and now they are telling him, make sure that this man is safe in that place. Yet, in as much as you have not released him, he must be safe. And from all indications, Tidibu has not been doing that. Yes, he has not been doing that because uh, situations of or reports of Ill head has been coming out frequently from DSS hell, about the con medical condition or head condition of Mazinam Nukano. The recently, the Biafra Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, Mazi Samone, by raised the alarm of the head situation of Mazinam Nukano is deteriorating by the day. And so he is not doing this. But what we are saying is the release of Mazin Amdekano. Nobody wants him to stay there at all. How much more of ensuring his safety? He should be released immediately, as court have said it. Yes, the group said Nigeria is already fragile. The union is fragile. And that is the truth. It is fragile. Yes. So, and the, this disregard to the rule of law is enabling the country to go down the drain the more. Today the country is like a jungle. 
Yes. So there's no rule of law. People do what they want, whatever they want. But like those in authority, they behave like, you know, in dictators, tyrants. And so in such a country, of course, you know, there's no hope. There's no hope. There's no future. Yes. So the contraption is going down the drain by the day. So what Tinubu is doing is to enable Nigeria to collapse more. Yes. The eventual collapse of Nigeria is nigh. Yes. It's nigh. It's very close. Because all the actions, inactions of this government, of this government, is to enable the country to collapse. And it will surely collapse. Because there is, you know, look at what they are doing at the federal government level. Look at the man who is ruling Nigeria. Look at the chariot ANEC conducted. Those who say that the electoral umpire. So these are the things. The impunity of those in government at the federal level, even at the state or the subnationals, the impunity is nothing to write about. So the group say, ensure in safety, make sure your religion to avoid the fate of Abiola. Yes, befalling you, Balatinibu. Yes, and so that is it. So we appreciate those people who are making genuine efforts to save for the village of Mazinamakam, both at home and in the diaspora. Yes, those advising him to release Mazinamakam, they love him so much. Yes, the people, all the groups, individuals, personalities, within and outside Nigeria, advising Bola Tinibu to release Mazinam Kano. They love him with passion because this one be say, nobody they beg you again to release Mazinam Kano. Nobody they beg you. All we are saying is, release him based on the, or the judgment of Court of Appeal of October 13, 2022. Release him because he committed no offense. Release him because he's an innocent man. And that is what this group is saying. This uh, Igbo veterans or American this American Igbo American veterans. Yes. So this is what they are saying. They said the man is innocent. That's Muslim can is innocent. And therefore, Tinibu have to lose the innocent man. Yes. Igbo veterans in United States of America. That's what they're telling Tinibu. An innocent man. You are detaining him. Release him to avoid the fate of abuse.